Hey Echo, it's been a while since we last met. Where were you? I just returned from an unreal adventure through the Valley of the Ancient, exploring incredible depths and mysteries. It's good to see you old friend, any new adventure you're embarking on? Hello and welcome. You might remember seeing Echo in the Unreal Engine 5 trailer from a few years ago. Echo is a custom character that was created by the Unreal team. In this video, you'll learn how you can integrate unique custom characters, such as Echo, in Unreal Engine using Convey. Convey enables your characters to communicate with you and other AI characters, perform different types of actions, and even perceive their environment. This helps enrich your gameplay and creates a highly interactive and immersive experience. If your avatar is created using other systems like MetaHuman, Ready Player Me, or Reillusion, feel free to check out our other easy-to-follow tutorials on integrating these systems using the links below. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to plug in your character to Unreal Engine, add animations to your character, add emotions, apply lip sync, and finally import your character into your virtual world. Let's get started. We'll be using Epic's free Slay sample project, which includes a character that we want to integrate. However, we can't directly use this character's current blueprint as it's set up as a skeleton mesh actor, which isn't suitable for our purposes. To start, let's create a new folder named Convey Integration in the content folder to keep our files organized. Next, we'll create a new blueprint for our character named Echo. For the parent class, make sure to select Convey Base Character. This will automatically include a movement component and a convey shot component, making the setup easier. Let's name this blueprint something like BP underscore character underscore echo underscore convey. Now let's add echo's skeletal mesh to the blueprint. If the character doesn't appear after adding the mesh, it might be due to specific nodes in the original blueprint's construction script that handle elements like hair. If this is the case, copy those nodes from the original blueprint into your new blueprint's construction script. Next, we need to set up animations. Download the latest Convey Reillusion animation blueprint from the link provided in the description. Extract the Convey Reillusion folder from the zip file into your project's Convey folder then restart the project. So we're using the Convey Reillusion blueprint as a template that we can use for any custom character. Double click the Convey Reillusion animation blueprint and choose Echo's skeleton when prompted. In the animation graph, we'll start adding animations. In the body animation section, connect your idle, walking, and transition animations. The transition animation is an in-between state that ensures smooth transitions between idle and walking. For example, if Echo's hands are behind their back in the idle animation, but in front during the walking animation, the transition animation would have the hands in a neutral position. Sometimes you can use the same idle animation for the transition. Make sure that all animations are set to loop to avoid reverting to a T-pose or A-pose. We don't have any animations to add right now, so these are just pointers. For the head rotation, select Echo's head bone in the head rotation section. This allows Echo to look at the player. For eye animation, assign Echo's right and left eye bones in their respective sections. Each character is different, so be sure to select the appropriate bones for Echo. If you want Echo to have facial emotions, you can add animations for each emotion in the Emotions layer, which will only extract the facial animation. Now let's focus on lip sync. Convey currently uses visine based animations for lip sync rather than blend shapes or AR kit, although we plan to support these in future releases. In the lip sync layer, you'll need to map each visine to the corresponding blend shape or bones for Echo. For each visine, PP, F, TH, DD, etc., identify the relevant blend shapes or bones in Echo's morph targets or skeleton. To do this, open Echo's skeleton mesh and navigate to the morph targets section. For example, for the PP visim, you might need to use a combination of the mouth press underscore L, mouth press R, and mouth pucker blend shapes. Replace the existing blend shapes node with this modify curve node. Right click on the modify curve node and select add curve for each relevant blend shape. 
For example, mouth press L, R, and mouth pucker. Adjust the values as needed for Echo's specific facial structure. This process is character specific and can be simple for cartoonish characters or more complex for realistic ones. Repeat this process for each visium, mapping them to the appropriate blend shapes or bones. If Echo uses bones instead of blend shapes for mouth movements, you'll need to locate the relevant bones in the skeleton tree. For example, for open mouth shapes like the AA visium, you may need to use the jawbone. In the skeleton tree, search for the jawbone. In Echo's case, it might be named something like facial underscore jaw underscore zero one. Select all the visium nodes that require the jawbone, for example, PP, F, TH, etc and drag from their output pins to create a transform modify node. In the details panel of the transform modify node, change the bone to the jaw bone that you located in the skeleton tree. For example, facial underscore jaw zero one. Adjust the rotation values of the jaw bone to achieve the desired open mouth shape for each visine. For example, you might need to rotate the jaw bone downward by 20 degrees for the AA visine. For the tongue visemes, locate Echo's tongue bone in the skeleton tree. In this case, it's facial underscore tongue zero one. And assign it to the tongue viseme nodes using the same transform modify method as described for the jaw bone. Select all the tongue viseme nodes, for example, L, R, TH, etc. And drag from their output pins to create a transform modify node, just like before. In the details panel, change the bone to the tongue bone you located in the skeleton tree. In this case, facial underscore tongue zero one. Adjust the position and rotation values of the tongue bone to achieve the desired tongue shape for each visine. Compile the animation blueprint to ensure there are no errors. If you encounter any warnings related to missing blend shapes or bones, double check that you assigned the correct ones or remove any unnecessary nodes. It's important to note that the main blocker or challenge in this process is the mapping from visemes to your character's specific blend shapes or bones. This step is crucial and can vary significantly depending on your character's design and facial structure. Take your time to carefully identify the relevant blend shapes or bones for each visime and make adjustments as needed to achieve the desired lip sync animation. The process of mapping visemes to different characters can be relatively simple for cartoonish characters with exaggerated facial expressions, but more complex and time consuming for realistic characters with subtle facial movements. Just be patient and iterate until you're satisfied with the results. After completing the animation blueprint setup, assign it to Echo's skeletal mesh in the mesh section of the character blueprint. Finally, drag Echo into the scene, set up the character ID as you normally would, and Echo will be fully interactive. Hey Echo, I always wanted to ask you, what did you discover when you entered through the blue portal? Ah, uh, my friend, that is a story for another time. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on integrating custom-built, unique characters with Convey in Unreal Engine, and adding special components like lip sync and actions. Feel free to reach out to us on Discord with any questions, or email us at support at convey.com.